Yo, what's going on guys? Hope everyone's feeling good today. I'm gonna to talk a little bit about my recent uh, progress with long 5.0 grinds. Just 5.0s to fakie and stuff like that because I could always do a pivot to fakie, right? And long 5.0s, I've been able to do that for a while. But within the past, maybe, I don't know, six months or so, I've made like a huge leap in doing long 5.0 grinds to fakie. So it all started because I don't know, I could feeble fakie for just almost infinitely, right? As long as like my momentum would take me, I could do it. 5-0 fakie, for some reason I was just frightened of it and I could always do pivot fakies, but I just wasn't that confident in it, um, especially while moving. Like I just felt like I was just gonna eat it and like fall off the coping if I you know, tried it. So I just put in the work. Um, a new skate park was built by me within the past couple of years, real small quarter pipe. And every day I would just practice these long 5-0 grinds. I'd like envision it. My friend Nick Sasser would do them really long and like the way he would sit, I would just envision that. <laughs> Try every day, every day, even in between trying other tricks, I would always just mess around and try that one. And that really helped. It helped two different things. It helped burn it into my mind, like the exact position I needed to sit in, but it also helped burn the groove and bend in my bushings and in my trucks like so it sits in there perfectly a lot of these tricks like your board gets used to certain movements and it like just finds a home for that like uh groove you know like where it exactly sits so i think a combination of both those things the repetition and you know breaking in the board definitely helped but um yeah i mean now it's kind of opened the door for other tricks so Today I'm gonna I'm gonna do a couple of tricks, do some 5-0s, talk about the technique and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna try a long 5-0 grind to blunt fakie. Trick I've never really seen done. I'm sure it's been done somewhere, but I haven't really seen it. Not too popular. So kind of frightened to try it on this concrete here. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, so the first thing I did when I started practicing these long 5-0s to fakie was I would just, you know, try to do a long 5-0, right? And my shoulders were turning backside naturally. Even when I thought I was opening my shoulders a little bit, I still would just keep slowly drifting in backside. So that was the main thing was really uh, opening my shoulders up and turning them this way. So if I'm grinding, I'm literally like opened up like this and just sitting on it, sitting back. And I almost get into it and I, pop into this position and sit like a chair and just like stamp it in there you know sitting all the way back on it pinching the heel and opening your shoulders just do that over and over and you'll eventually unlock it but yeah that didn't happen immediately i had to you know my board kept like popping out when i was pinching the heel so i really had to get used to that motion and then doing it until i stopped and then coming in like a pivot fakie that helped a ton so it kind of took the fear away of doing it fast while grinding and coming in quickly that's where you're gonna fall like eat it doing that you know so i would do feeble fakie so i was trying to think about it on that standard like i just gotta go for it and fly and come in yeah i wanted to get to that point but the real key was just grinding stopping and then coming in and i did tons and tons of those and then eventually I became more comfortable with coming in, you know, without stalling for so long. But also like with most tricks, it's not an overnight thing. You know, it wasn't like I got this technique and that's what like only opened it up. There was a period where I was frustrated that I couldn't pivot fakie that well. And I would only do that, like just the stall version, you know, and like, Maybe that was a year or two ago. You know, I just started doing those all the time. So it wasn't always like I was good at that trick or it felt natural. It's actually one of my worst feeling tricks. Like it never felt comfortable. And only this year, you know, before that I was doing tricks to pivot fakie and that started opening up maybe the past couple of years before that. And then the long grinds now, they're opening up. So it's definitely an evolution and it started with the stall small quarter pipes and then working it you know up to now so all right now i'm gonna go for that 5-0 the blunt fakie i'm not even sure how this is gonna work out so let's see i feel like this is one i can't really mess around on i just need to commit 
think it's possible. I feel like this could end up not great. Oh, all right. I can't do it. I feel like I'm just gonna slip out. Okay, all right, definitely doable. It's like you got no leverage to pop it up there. It's kind of weird. <sighs> this is not a very inviting quarter pipe. Oh, all right, that was it. Oh, that is a tough one to commit to. Oh my God. Ah, really tough to stay over it and do it quick. Ah, too slow. Wow, that was way tougher than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna cut out a bunch of the tries, but I think that took like an hour, just nonstop attempts. The 5.0 just kept, like I was saying before, with the 5.0, the fakie, same thing. Just like shoulder kept turning, because this you really have to turn even more, you know, for the to get into the blunt, and you got no leverage to kind of hop up there. So yeah, it was just making it extra difficult, but we got one. But yeah, leave a comment, let me know what trick I should learn tomorrow. I'll see you guys then.